went for a prostate exam today and ejaculated right in front of the doctor. She said it's not uncommon, but I'm still very embarrassed. And what's your most embarrassing doctor-related story? When I was 18, I found a tumor on one of my testicles. I went to my family doctor. He said to make sure it wasn't cancer and to do an ultrasound. Scary shit for an 18-year-old boy, or really anyone. So I went to the diagnostic center, got my paperwork sorted out, walked into the room and sat on the couch. A couple minutes later, a nurse came in. Blonde, about 25, hot as hell. She told me to take off my pants, lie down on the table and spread my legs a little. I immediately felt a familiar feeling down below and realized I was going to be in trouble. She put gel on the ultrasound chamber and then squeezed some gel on her fingers and started rubbing my balls. Dudes, that was awesome. She gently lifted my cock and covered it with a towel so only my ball sack was exposed and that was enough. In six seconds I had a rock hard boner. I was blushing and embarrassed, and she noticed of course. I tried to distract myself by asking her questions about the device and how it worked. Did you know that you can place the cursor on a picture of a vein or artery, and then the machine will play the sound for that particular part only? After about 15 minutes of slowly rubbing this plastic tool on my balls, it was over. She said, well, your testicles are healthy, just some kind of obstruction in the ejaculatory flow. And then she added that masturbation would get rid of the problem. She was right. When I was 16, I had to go to a cardiologist to get my heart checked. I had no idea what was even going on, but I clearly remember being in the room with the physician's assistant. Imagine a large, middle-aged, Eastern European-looking woman named Helga. So she tells me to take off my clothes. I take off my shoes, jeans, and shirt. I'm in my bra and panties. She saw that and I yelled back, Why didn't you take off your bra? You think I haven't seen a woman's charms before? It was embarrassing, I changed doctors after that. One day, I noticed that my penis was red and blotchy. I went to get checked out and my doctor referred me to a penis specialist. Is there even a special name for him? To treat STD. I, of course, immediately accused my girlfriend of cheating on me. We had an argument and broke up. But then I went to see a penis doctor and his assistant. They took one look at my problem and said, Huh, it's just a sunburn. On the plus side though, my girlfriend did cheat on me, so I didn't lose much. Urologist? Cockologist. I was at the ophthalmologist's once, and during the examination of my eye he said, Good, now open wide. So I opened my mouth as wide as I could and started waiting. It must have been a minute before he added, I actually meant your eye. When I was 15 years old, I went to see the pediatrician for a checkup. She slipped her hands down my pants, cupped my scrotum, and asked me to cough. I have no idea why that was necessary, and it actually felt like a pedophile move. I think a lot of people know what I'm talking about, so she's got my balls in her hand and I'm a tricky one. I look her right in the eyes and I say, oh yeah, rub my balls, stroke my cock. When she heard that, she laughed, left the room and told everything to my mom. To say that I was displeased is an understatement. I also come once during a prostate exam, the doctor was so angry she practically screamed at me. Man, I hadn't even started yet. I'm a bit of a weirdo. Sometimes I go out with an anal plug in my ass and wear my wife's panties under my regular clothes. Believe it or not, but only the thought of it makes me horny. One of those days, I was in a car accident. I was rushed to the hospital. Of course, the doctors had to undress me to make sure I was okay. Later, it turned out that the nurse had to take those panties off me and remove an anal plug. But the most embarrassing moment came when I changed into my hospital gown and they gave me all my stuff back. Is it normal for the doctor to put his hands on your shoulders during a prostate exam? Only if he kisses your neck. Yes, it's totally normal, no questions asked. After all, he does it for a living. My doctor actually made me check his prostate after he checked mine. It's weird because mine was putting his dick on my shoulders. I had some tough health issues in college so I went to the cardiologist one day. I had to take off my top, metal jewelry, and lay it all out on the table. By the way, I had my nipples pierced a couple weeks before and managed to forget about it. And then the doctor starts doing a scan, something like ultrasound of my heart, and again reminds me that jewelry can interfere with scans, as if to hint that I should take out my piercings. I see him politely look away and start trying to get those rings off, but fuck, nothing comes off. I try. The right one I managed to get off, but here's the left one and I just can't move it. He sees this, realizes I'm close to ripping my nipple off and says very briefly, Erm, can I help you? I know he didn't want it at all, but I couldn't do it myself, so I also responded very briefly with, Yes please, I'm sorry. 
After some tricks, he was able to pull the damn ring out of my nipple and we continued the examination. Afterwards, I got drunk off my ass and called a friend who laughed heartily at the whole story. When I was younger, once I went to the doctor and for whatever reason he needed to see my cock, I took off my pants. When he saw my dick, he frowned strangely, then looked up at me, then looked at my dick again and frowned again. Thus began a series of disappointments with my dong. You said you pulled your ankle? All right, let me take a look at your penis. When I gave birth to my son, the doctor opened my amniotic bubble. There was meconium in the amniotic fluid, first baby poop, so they started washing me with jet of water. The baby mesmerized the passage, so the fluid they pumped into me didn't come out. I remember them saying, nothing is coming out. It was time to push, and the doctor must have known what was coming next. Because when I looked up, she was dressed as Gorton's fisherman, wrapped up head to toe in a raincoat. The moment my son's shoulder dislodged a little, all of the remaining amniotic fluid and the one they filled me with came crashing down on the doctors with a giant typhoon. The entire staff shrieked, wow, and jumped back. It was unrealistically moist bringing my son into the world. Thank you for giving me 143rd reason to not have kids. Damn, your son is going to be a surfing legend one day. Is your son an Aquarius by any chance? He's probably going to be the next Michael Phelps. I dislocated my shoulder snowboarding once. When the doctor came into the emergency room to fix it, I panicked. That's when a cute, sweet nurse, with huge hooters, came to the rescue to calm me down, keeping me from moving. Before the doctor even started, I fidgeted on the ground like a child. And then I was cozy and happy, and I figured the painkillers had finally kicked in. Although, as it turned out, I stupidly buried my face in the nurse's chest and got high. And when I came to my senses and realized what I was doing, I quickly turned away and started desperately apologizing. But she said it was okay. One day I asked a young girl ophthalmologist to check my eyes, a pretty Indian woman, a little older than me. She had a super soothing voice, and when she dimmed the lights, I experienced just a raging erection. Understandably, I was confused. The worst part was that I had to open my eyes wide in this state and stare into this weird little vision testing machine. I think the doctor was trying very hard not to look at my pants. When I was younger once, I had to have a physical exam. My doctor was an old Asian woman who spoke very little English, and I'm sure she was far from the best specialist. Nevertheless, when it came time to check my cock, balls, and everything else, she didn't make me take off my pants but told me to lie down on the couch. I always wore white underwear, and my penis was almost always slightly hidden between my legs by default. The decrepit woman tried to expose my penis by simply unbuttoning my pants and pulling my underwear down a bit while I was lying on my back, but that didn't help much. The look of horror on her face when she found nothing but the pubic overgrowth haunts me to this day. She was in such shock that I could directly feel her start to panic. Then in broken English she said just one word, what? Luckily before anything more horrible could happen, I had time to fix it. I just sat pulled down my pants completely and to her visible relief pulled my dick out. When I was 15, the doc was checking my balls and asked me to cough. Then the doc, holding my balls in his hand, asked me to tense up. I was so confused at the time that I focused all my energy into my dick muscles, and that caused my little guy to bounce a little. Then the doc laughed heartily and said, Oh no, son, I meant tense the muscles like you're lifting weights. Anyway, it's all bullshit, his own fault. And you tell him, but doctor, that's how I lift weights. When I was about 14, I crashed my bike going down a little hill. It was nothing if it wasn't for the zipper on my shorts pocket. As I fell over the verses stuck in my thigh and rolled down the hill, I found a deep gash about 8 centimeters long. So an hour later, my dad and I went to the urgent care center to get stitches, the usual teenage thing. But instead of the usual wrinkled old doctor who always stitched me up, I was referred to his new young and very attractive young med student. Because of the location of the wound, I had to remove my shorts and underwear so she could get to it. I was also given a little washcloth to cover my penis. Then she started stitching me up, leaned over me so that her breasts were pressing against my leg, and I could feel her gentle breath on my thigh. You know, I had this weird feeling like, 8 a.m., math, class, hot girl sitting next to me in short shorts, better put my textbooks on my knee. I was in a panic. I tried to figure out how I would reach out to correct the washcloth. I tried to imagine my grandmother copulating with hairy leprechauns. I tried not to think about putting my dick right in the nurse's mouth, but nothing worked. I lay there naked for about 45 minutes. My cock was standing the whole time and was about 30 centimeters from her head. 
Fortunately, she turned out to be a real professional and didn't pay attention to the fact that some teenager was poking her in the face with a huge boner. Anyway, I don't think that's something she comes across very often. I was 18 then, and as usual, I had to give blood for something. I was tensing my arm, and when the doctor put the needle in one of my veins wrongly, as it came out, blood began to flow freely from my hand. Then she took my left arm, and I felt like I was about to pass out. And I did. Later I woke up on the floor in a puddle of my own urine. I remember how embarrassing it was to walk around in wet pants afterward. When I first went to have my lady parts examined, the doctor occasionally pressed his thumb on my clitoris. I don't know if it was some kind of perversion or if he did it accidentally, but it was very, very uncomfortable. I never went to him again after that. I remember when I was 14, I had some kind of problem with my bladder. I honestly don't remember exactly what the problem was. I do remember the doctor shoving a tube into me, and while he was doing it, the only thing on my mind was, I wish I didn't have a boner, I wish I didn't have a boner. And of course, right after that I got a boner. Like just a tube in my dick is not enough painful and embarrassing shit. Thanks so much for watching. In the comments below the video, write about your most embarrassing, humiliating, or painful doctor visits. And don't forget to watch our other awesome episodes. Bye-bye.